What's up YouTube, for today's video, we have a full Worst Generation 2 Pokemon team. So last week we did the Worst Generation 1, today we're going to be doing the Worst Gen 2 team. Now, in Generation 2, there was a lot of like bad Pokemon, there was way more than 6, right? So, that's what the question today is going to be, what do you think is the Worst Generation 2 Pokemon? Leave it, like pause the video right now, write down your 6 Pokemon, don't, don't, don't keep watching, pause it, write it down now, and then go into the video and see if you're right. Let's get into this one. Now, people, uh, let's see if we can go for a little uh, light goal today. I want, I want to get to do an experiment today. If, I really appreciate you guys can help me with this experiment. Let's go for 2,000 likes on the video. Uh, I want to see how this one goes. I, I've got some reasons, but I just want to see if you guys can help me out with that one, and let's get into it. So, people, we are going to have some battles on this goal. This was against Swoodoo Woodoo. We've got a god versus a god, a god B versus a god letter, taking it down to one health on the focus sash. Now, God B did bug bite to me, did a pretty hefty amount of damage. I'm a little bit worried here if I was going to live the bug bite, but I do, and it lives on one health, and the merch is available, people. Unknown lives and takes out the comp B with the hidden power. Now, guys, that just proves... Okay, go up to a beehive and use hidden power on it in real life. I'm not sure what like what hidden power is in real life, but just do it anyway. So, uh, we got a slander coming out here. It's obviously going to be out to me, and it's going to use fake out on my unknown. Man, I was happy with that. Unknown took out a combi. Uh, that, you couldn't really hope for more than that. So, now we're going to go into the core slider. Now, in the second battle, I'm going to explain why these Pokemon are my team. In the first battle, I'm going to explain my Pokemon sets, right? Now, do bear in mind I'm using Generation 2 Pokemon sets. So, these are, you know, all the way from Gen 2. So the Corsola was as follow. Oh, the unknown was Max Health, uh, Max Health, Max Special Attack, Hidden Power, Psychic Choice Specs. If that wasn't obvious already, so we got the Slanted. It's also what is this? A full Focus Sash team, and uh, it's going to live on a one health again, and it's got a Burmy. Now I actually was running a special set, which was pretty cool for Corsola. Now Corsola set has got Mirror Coat, Surf, Ice Beam, and Nature Power, Max Health, and Max Special Attack. Also Modest Nature. Uh, we got Rocky MC as the item and Regenerator as the ability. So getting an extra power boost there on the Salander, that was really, really good. And uh, that is going to go down. So after a pretty good start at the moment, we got a plus one and everything on the Corsola. And we buried the combi. It, it, it was really important we buried the combi. Okay, so the next Pokemon we got coming out is the beauty. Man, that shiny looks pretty dang good. Like, damn. Okay, I thought that said purple nipple. Anyway, so uh, we got the Corsola. Speaking of it, with there's two nipples on the field. Corsola and Beautiful. So swapping out the nipple and bringing in the Lanian. So we got on this Ladian set. Oh my god. This is such a horrible Pokemon in Gen 2. We got Rest, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, and Sleek Talk. We got the ability as Iron Fist and the item as Leftovers. Max Health, Max Special Defense. So it's more of like a tanky set. And we got the Beautiful Eye going for the Quiver Dance. Then the Shadow Ball. And then it's going to drop my Special Defense by one stage. However, the only redeeming quality about Ladian is actually a Special Defense. So that's really good. So I went for the Ice Punch there. Does some pretty good damage to Beautify. It's about a three-hit KO. Uh, you know how bad Beautify's like, defense is, and uh, that it didn't even do over half. So we got another Shadow Ball coming from the uh, the Beautify there. I'm going to go for another Ice Punch, hoping for a low-key freeze. It doesn't take it out. Uh, I've got the Leftovers Recovery too. So pretty much, I know that I can live the next Shadow Ball if it's not a crit or something like that, and I can go for a Thunder Punch to finish off the Beautify in case there's a swap or anything. So we got another uh, Shadow Ball fired at my Ladian's way, living on six health and taking it out with the Thunder Punch. So a pretty dang good start here. We took out the Beautify, we took out the Salander, and of course the God Beast. So we've got three Pokemon remaining. I'm in a pretty good, you know, I'm in a pretty good position at the moment. Well, not, not probably, probably not so with my Ladian, but my uh, Corsola's sitting pretty. Uh, so we got the uh, Galanely coming now. Obviously, I'm going to get destroyed by this thing. The best I can do is uh, Thunder Punch. However, I'm going to get outsped by the Galanely. going to finish me off with a return. That's cool. Uh, Ledian, well, Ledian did more than I could ever hope for in this battle, so that was cool. So now we got the Corsola coming back in. Now, on this set, as follows, we got the Ancient Power and the Rocky MZ. So that was the Z move that I was going to go for. However, we got a low-key scumbag Mega Evolution here. We got the uh, Mega Galanely. So I was like, I wonder what this Mega Galanely is cooking up. Uh, I went for my Z move anyway, so it's going to go for the laser focus. So the next move it's going to use is going to be 100% critical hit, right? So I've, I've got to take this out in one shot. Now, since I was running a special set, right, and, uh, you know, I wasn't running a field set, I like running the choice band hustle, like head smash, even though it's horrible. Uh, when it does connect, it, 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 it connects. So we got the Continental Crutch, and uh, this is coming on gladly. So I'm hoping it's like it's not like a bulky set. If it's not a bulky set, I'm you know I was like this is going to do a lot of damage or at least take it out. So dropping Mount Everest on the top of Glalie, and that's going to take it out in one shot. So I'm not sure what that set they're running was like what move they're going to go for. Maybe they're just going to go for explosion. I'm not sure. 
Um, but that's that doubt anyway. So we're in a really strong position at the moment. We've taken four Pokemon out, and now we've got the pizza time. So I could go for the Ice Beam here or the Surf, but I was kind of... I'm not sure if that was a bait for a weakness policy, so I swapped out into Delibird. Or I was kind of worried about an Earthquake. They were like the two reasons, but it's got Fissure instead! Oh dear. Okay, so we got the Deli Boot and we got the uh, we got the Wormadam swapping out there. Speaking of trash Pokemon. And we got the Gardevoir coming in. So I like Shining Gardevoir. So this one's going to trace my Insomni. Now, bringing, uh, obviously, bringing Deli Bird over from Generation 2, you can only have Insomni, right? So it's, it's actually terrible. So on this Deli Bird set, we've got as follows. Now, please bear in mind, these are the moves that I get in Generation 2. So we've got Blizzard, Future Sight, <laughs> Mud Slap, and Endure. Max special attack and max speed. That was the Deli Bird set. Anyway, so we got a physical guard of all. Boy, that does some pretty good damage to my Corsola. And I'm going to get it burned. So, pretty much after the next Zen Headbutt, I'm going to go down. It's going to outspeed me. And uh, this one is going to do some really solid damage to Corsola there. I didn't want to actually swap out another Pokemon to get the Regenerator. And I'm going to go down to the burn. But I did get a Surf off against guard of all, which is pretty important there. Doing some solid damage. So now the Gardevoir is going to take the Surf and the uh, Future Sides attack, bring it over half health damage, and Gosola is going to go down. So I was pretty happy with that one. I've still got my Deli Bird and two other Pokemon waiting in the wings. So now we're going to bring in Dunsparce. Now Dunsparce actually wasn't too good in Generation 2 either. As I said, I'll explain why in the second battle. So we got the Gardevoir coming up, and we got the Pizza Time coming back in. So let's go over what this Dunsparce set was. So we got Headbutt. We've got uh, Psych Up and Swagger, and we've got Glare. Now, the, obviously, the opponent, we need to uh, use Swagger against them, give them plus two, confuse them, copy it with Psych Up, and then, obviously, you can paralyze them with Glare, and then spam Headbutt. Now, the thing about uh, Dunsparce is uh, it doesn't have Serene Grace, so this is not as good as uh, you know as you'd probably think. So the ability is actually Rattle. That's what it is. It had to be Rattle when you swap it over, and we have the item as I Apiberry as well. So, uh, I ran Adam and Nature on this one, and obviously I was relying on Glare to actually outspeed them as well. So, we got this Wormadam uh, boosting its attack sharply with this Swagger. Now, the only thing I wanted to do was get a couple of Swaggers up against this thing, and uh, then go for the Psych Up, and then go for the, uh, go for the uh, Headbutt against the Guardfall, and uh, the Wormadam, of course, or hit itself in confusion. So, uh, we're boosting its stats even more, its attack. Uh, now, I know that it doesn't have, like, Earthquake and stuff. Well, it hasn't used Earthquake. It's been spamming Fissure. So I thought, you know, I was okay to actually raise the stats of this Wormadab uh, cloak. Anyway, I actually, actually probably, out of all the Wormadabs, I'd say I probably like this one the best, I think. The, the Leaf one's pretty cool, too. Oh, sorry, the Grassy one. Okay, so we got a Fissure. It gets through all of that and uh, basically sends Dunsparce to the center of the planet. Man, I was... I was hoping to get that headbutt off after and sweep through the rest of the team, but that was not the case. Man! Okay, so now we're going to swap in Deli Bird. Now, Deli Bird pretty, pretty much can only go for the, uh, the Blizzard here. I'm going to go for a Blizzard, and it's going to connect, thank goodness, and that's going to take out Pizza Time. Now, Pizza Time, I'm not sure if it had any other attack, like attacking moves than Fish Up um, that we've seen before to hit my Deli Bird, but uh, if it did, it, there you go. I, I did want to find out if it did. So the last Pokemon we got is the Gardevoir. It's going to trace my Insomnia. Such a handy ability on uh, Deli Bird. And uh, now I can go for the Endure. Now I've got Endure Patea Berry here. So that's going to boost my special attack that I thought I could go for that. And then I could go for the Blizzard on the Gardevoir. Right? So Gardevoir is going to go for the Zen Head, but doing a lot of damage to me. And uh, that's going to live on one health. Obviously, the merch is available. Not sure if I can count that, but oh, actually, I'm going to count anyway, bugger. So I could go for the Blizzard, but unfortunately, I actually get outsped here. So the Gardevoir is running, I think that's running Jolly Nature, and that's going to take out my Deli Bird. So I'm down to my last Pokemon here, folks, and that is the Shuckle. So Shuckle is as follows. So Shuckle is very, very barren. Uh, on the obviously on the uh, attacking side as well. Not that it was really ever a good attacking Pokemon. We've got on this one Wrap, Sandstorm, Toxic, and Rest. That's it. The ability obviously has to be contrary, and the item I've got it is Rocky Helmet. So that's a, it's a real trapping set on this one. So you trap it up, and uh, then you put the Sandstorm up. So you got that Toxic damage, you got the Wrap damage, and you got the Sandstorm all going at once. Kind of similar to what I'd run like on some of them now. Maybe not that exact set, but uh, kind of a similar thing. So Gardevoir is going to attack me with the Zen Head, but it's going to take it out with the Rocky Helmet, and that is game. Hope you guys enjoyed this first battle. Let's get on to the second battle. Uh, this one was against Nikolai on my Discord, and uh, we're going to go through why I actually put these Pokemon on this team as well. <clears throat> so, unknown, unknown, can only learn Hidden Power, and uh, that's it. It's, 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 it's stats are crap. 
Uh, it, basically, Hidden Power is not going to take anything out at all. It, it, it's absolutely utter garbage. It's probably the it's, I'd say it's probably the worst Gen 2 Pokemon out of all of them. Anyway, so we've got 11 Elite here. I do some solid damage with Hidden Power Psychic. However, it's going to fell me with the Fell Stinger. Down goes Unknown. Now, Fell Stinger, if you take a Pokemon outright, they get that... Actually, that, that crit mattered! Anyway, so if you do take a Pokemon out with Fell Stinger, you get a drastic raise, which gives you one, two, and three, baby. So that's a plus three already. So I thought Ledian would be you know, a nice so probable swap in here. It's going to have me first instead. And guess what, people? Guess what? I went for Ice Punch, which is going to be super effective. It's going to outspeed me. It's going to shrek me. So Ledian's going to go down. Ledian was an absolute pile of steaming hot, steamy garbage. On steaming garbage at Gen 2. So uh, it, had no, it actually had no stab at all. That would add like poor offense, like nothing, like special attack, attack. It was crap. It was so bad. Really, the only good thing about it was, and not that this was even good, it had baton pass and agility. That, that, that was it. It had screens. That was really it. It was frail. It could basically go down to anything. It was it was a really bad Pokemon in Gen 2. Like, it's, it's got a couple of good things now, but it's still very, very bottom barrel. It was even worse in Generation 2. Anyway, uh, so Lady in step. So we got this levity going for the uh, sub shoot, trying to get around my glare Dunsparce. Now Dunsparce, now Dunsparce was it was it wasn't really good either. Um, obviously, it didn't have Serene Grace, so you couldn't make use of that. You know that nice headbutt uh, flinch. It didn't have like coil and things like that, so you couldn't do like your coil headbutt set. It was completely walled by steel. Uh, you know, obviously really relying on headbutt. Uh, it, did, it did like a lot of low damage shoot. Now you could run like a uh, a curse set on it, but. Everything else was sort of, it was sort of like outclassed by other curses, like, such as Miltang, right? So you could go curse to curse with them, but then you get like out damaged and outsped and things like that. And it was also a big setup fodder as well. So it wasn't the greatest Pokemon in the world. And, uh, you know, ghost types and stuff. It's, it, it just really didn't have anything amazing about it. Anyway, so Shuckle, uh, this is, this Levity is like destroying my team right now. We're going to go for the Sandstorm and take this again. My, this Levity took out half my team. I can't believe it. And it went for the Me First uh, on my Dunsparce. Me First headbutt on my Dunsparce. The thing about Me First as well, it actually gets a, um, a nice little uh, stab boost too. Okay, so looking at Shuckle, it's uh, horrible HP. You guys know that. Or it still has horrible HP today. Now, this was really, really walled by Steel and Poison-type Pokemon. Pretty much the only reason to use uh, Shuckle in Generation 2 was for Stall. That's it. It couldn't do... It can't do anything else than Stall. Like, Toxic. That's its main. That's its go-to move, which is Toxic. Now, they actually had a uh, Palisand with Bulldoze. Now, I had Contrary, which actually boosted my speed. I couldn't touch this Palisand at all. As I said, I only had Toxic and Wrap. So... All I could do was go for the Toxic and, and rest against this Palisand. That was like my strategy. Let's get back to the Shuckle anyway. So pretty much any uses with Rest, Heal Bell, uh, fixed damage moves like Nightshade, Seismic Toss, they could get around its like gigantic defenses and uh, you know take advantage of its like, really, really crappy health, right? So it really wasn't a great Pokemon in Generation 2. It had no offensive presence whatsoever, and uh, all it really did was Toxic, right? It Toxic and Wrap, that's all it could do. Which is quite easy to get around. I mean, in the right situation, of course, it would go all right. But pretty much, it's just a stalling Pokemon. And uh, definitely had its uh, counters. All right. So, Delibird's coming in against the Palisand. Palisand's going to swap out there. And we got the Gyarados coming. So, things are looking... We're, we're in dire straits at the moment, people. Levin has destroyed half our team. And I've only got a Delibird versus the Gyarados. So, things are not looking good. So, Blizzard misses in the sand there. Gyarados is going to take a little bit of health, which I guess is good. If it had the focus such. Anyway, so go for the Blizzard in the sand, which is going to hit there. Does some pretty good damage. And I got a Freeze Hacks on top of the Gyarados. Guys, look at Gyarados just floating. Like, why is it just floating in the air for? I think they need to improve that, right? I reckon, say if a Pokemon gets, like, frozen right, they should fall down to the ground. Just, like, beyond the ground sideways crying. Anyway, let's have a look at Delibird. So, Delibird... Okay. Delibird's horrible typing. That Nothing's changed for that, right? Extremely frail. A very, very poor offense as well. And its move pool is utter garbage. Like... Seriously, I had Blizzard and Future Sight. Like, Blizzard, Future Sight. That's what it's... That's its special moves, people. It's so bad. Obviously, it didn't have things like Hustle and things like that. Now, the only redeeming move that really was good about it in Generation 2 was Spikes. But that was like a special event. So, 
You could, like, not many people could even get that. So, pretty much utter trash. Like, another really utter trash Pokemon. Now, I do want to stress one thing, people. I really like these. Like, these are Pokemon. I love using these sets and Pokemon. But uh, we got to state the facts sometimes, people. All right, all right, okay. Unknown. That, that, we, we won't say it about unknown because unknown is too good. So we got the Electivire coming in here. Now, Shuckle was actually really good against this Electivire. Like, look at these Pokemon, like Gyarados, Electivire. These, these were scary Pokemon, like, especially against my team. So we got a mixed Electivire there. Now, the good thing about the Shuckle, this is the thing where Shuckle always shines, right? It can uh, tank out a lot of the hits. It's it, like this Electivire. It doesn't hit, like, really, really hard to. Electivire is one of those Pokemon that, you know, it can hit everything for super effective, but it just, it really does struggle to, you know, one-shot things, and especially, like, a Shuckle with, like, gigantic defenses and special defense. Okay, so I thought this would be a good time to, you know, trap it in and then go to sleep. Pretty much, Electivire cannot do anything to my Shuckle at all, and I did notice in the team preview that Shuckle actually walled a lot of these Pokemon, right? So that was, like, the main reason, uh, like, why I was quite confident at the moment, like, I could get around this Electivire. Obviously, things like crits were a worry against this Electivire and Shuckle matchup, too. So, uh, we're starting to tag back in the belt. I think the big thing was getting rid of that Gyarados, because if that Gyarados were remaining, Shuckle would have got, like, destroyed by it. Like, even a special Gyarados would have destroyed it. Okay, so, obviously, they're trying to get around the Rocky Helmet damage, but the... My saving grace right here is they've got the life orb. So every time they attack, they're taking life orb damage. And if they do go for a physical attack, like that with like uh, you know, like thunder punch, fire punch, they're gonna take Rocky the helmet damage too. So they're gonna go for a final thunder punch, knowing they're gonna go down anyway. And that is Electivire down. So that was really, really good, people. That was I was very happy to get rid of Gyarados and Electivire. After that shocking start from Levany, that which wiped out like half my team. Okay, so we're back in a Palace Sand, so I thought this was probably the longest bit in the battle, like that Electivire in this Palace Sand section were the longest bits in the battle. Anyway, so I thought, uh, it's going to go for Shadow Ball, I was thinking, if that drops my special defense, Contrary is, <laughs> Contrary is actually going to raise it, so that's going to be really good. So I thought, let's go for another rest again, like I've got, there's nothing this thing can really do against me. Now, the last Pokemon, let's go over Corsola. Now, Corsola, obviously, you, it, even back then, it was destroyed by Grass Pokemon. It could not do anything at all. The grass Pokemon. It was it was a really really horrible Pokemon. The typing really wasn't the greatest in the world. Um, the only, I mean, the only really good role it could do in Generation Two, right, was like support. You know, Toxic Recover. It was just support like that. Um, I mean, it could run a Curse Set, but once again, it was outclassed. And uh, you know, Ground type Pokemon could come in and stuff on the just destroy it as well before I could get any Curse up. So really, a, a terrible Pokemon, and uh, not much. Offense there as well, and the thing about like the thing I want to mention like why is this bat why this bit's going? This is a fairly long, long bit in the panel. Thing about like not all these Pokemon, so obviously unknown really hasn't, really hasn't changed at all. I mean, looking at some of these Pokemon, I'd say Corsola, Shuckle, Dunsparce, and maybe let in but they, like giving them abilities and stuff for some more moves have made them a little bit better, um, but not not too much better. But definitely having no abilities in this generation, kind of like. Like Shuckle Contra is not too bad. You can do like a Shell Smash Contra stalling set, but really its role hasn't changed too much, right? Um, it, could, it did get Sticky Web, but obviously gave it a little bit more use and things like that. St the stealth Rocks, things like that. You know, Infestation. So it definitely got some extra moves. So mainly things like moves and abilities, which made the Pokemon, you know, a lot better. Or uh, just definitely better than just being set up fodder. Dunsparce have got Serene Grace, who's actually able to use things like, um, you know, use things like... Uh, you know, Headbutt, Serene Grace, it's special side too. I got a nice Mirror Coat KO against the uh, Palisand too, which was nice. Uh, so that's good. I was actually kind of worried about that. Um, I guess the two Pokemon that were worrying me the most after getting rid of Levany was the uh, uh, the Gyarados and the Electivite. Now, this Seb Streak, I was also worried about this too. So I was like, is, this can get around my Corsola and it can get around my Delibird. So the only Pokemon, right, that could even do anything against this was the Shuckle. So down goes the Delibird. This was quite important. So I was thinking... Once again, uh, Delibird, uh, the Shuckle can go for the uh, Poison, and then it can wrap it in, and then it can go for the rest. So they're going to go for the Thunder Wave. It's going to fail. I think, obviously, they misclick there. Uh, they're going to go for a Shock Wave instead. Shock Wave's a good move, but the only problem about it is you know, it's, it's got low base power, and Shuckle's got, like, really, really high defenses. So I was actually kind of worried about, like, a Choice Specs uh, Thunderbolt. That's why I swapped in my Delibird before, so I thought... Looking at the remaining Pokemon, Delibird sort of like is the most expendable. Uh, Kosala can tank another hit. T Shuckle can tank another hit. So we didn't want to get rid of those ones. So pretty much here, all I did was go Toxic. Um, I didn't have Infestation, but Rat was pretty much the same. Obviously, the, uh, you know, the accuracy is kind of bad on it too. And uh, Infestation was better because you can use it against like... It doesn't get like... A Ghost-type Pokemon doesn't come in 
and uh, you know it just it doesn't completely like do anything against it. So you could trap it in as well. See, so infestation is better then. That was like the upgrade on Shuckle, pretty much. Anyway, so we got the Thunder Wave. They're trying to hack me out here. There's really nothing Zeb Streak could do. Even if it gets like really big critical hits here, it's uh it's not going to be able to get around the big the big Shuckle there. I'm just like thinking of some more improvements. Like, obviously, looking at Unknown, right? That can't improve at all. There's no real improvements for that. Ledian, Ledian, I mean, it got some abilities. It got stuff like this This one in particular had Iron Fist, which was completely useless. It, number one, this attack is crap. And uh, it, the, the problem about it, it didn't really get any stab on the physical side. So you had to kind of go for a more. It still remained as a support set, right? So you could go for this. It, it could go for like a toxic screener. It got stuff like Roost. So it's a little. It got a couple of extra little gimmicks, but still remained yeah, a fairly bad Pokemon. But uh, fun to use. So I'd say the Pokemon that raised up the most out of uh, from Gen, like the worst being the worst Pokemon Gen 2. Shuckle, definitely the, the moves that are learned and uh, the abilities that got like contrary are quite fun to use. And uh, I'd say Dunsparce as well, having Serene Grace. Not that not that I'm saying Dunsparce gets a lot of uses, but it definitely was a lot better than it was, you know, now compared to Generation 1. Delibird got Hustle, so that means it was able to hit, you know, stuff like Ice Punch, Drill Peck. It got some better moves on the physical side. It got like Destiny Bond. It, it could learn spikes, you know, naturally uh, via, via breeding and stuff like that. So it definitely got some better things about it. Crisola got Hustle. Uh, it got regenerated, which was much better. So definitely had like Skull, things like that. Made it like better in its role. Basically, when I look at the Pokemon, Unknown never changed at all. Pretty much, un I'd say Unknown and Ledian got the shortest end of the stick out of all six Pokemon here. Okay, so we finally got rid of the Zeb Streaker. That was a really long part, and we had this Vigor off. So Shuckle pretty much set it up, uh, the Toxic on it, and now we're going to go into Kosala. So I was wondering, uh, I, I, I was like, I was really quite confident I could lift the Hammer up, because it did actually get a Hammer up before. That's a negative one in speed, and now it's got a negative two in speed. So I could go for the... Uh, my uh, ancient power Z move and finish off the Ziggurat. If it did have a, like an Everlight or whatever, even if it did, uh, which I was guessing it did, I could definitely finish off with the Shuckle. And this one was pretty much game. Hope you guys enjoyed both these battles. You know, I actually do have a really, really good battle after this, the bonus battle. It was actually really, really awesome. So if you guys want to check it out, you should. It was very unique too. Um, it's actually, it was actually really good for this video. It kind of like put my team to the ultimate test. I'm not going to say anymore, but if you want to check that one out, you should. I recommend you shall. It's very interesting. All right, people. I'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Maybe another theme team. Peace.